guys, it is Sunday. I don't know what time is it, hold on. 1.08 p.m. I've been sewing all morning uh, again, I know. So I made those two sort of uh, work dress patterns. One was called the work dress, it was from Ella Harp, and I do love both patterns. The other one was um, the metamorphic dress by So Liberated. I made one dress out of each pattern, which is are downstairs in my closet that I will wear at some point given the right event and the right styling. But I thought, the more I thought about it, the more I thought there are things about both patterns I love. One thing I don't love were the gathers around the waist. Um, I just didn't think for me they were flattering. And I kind of wondered how I could re recut the patterns, reshape the patterns to have the same character, but be one piece and have no waistband. Um, and hang loose or I could belt it or I could wear it with a sweater. I could wear it as sort of a house coat. Um, so I did some pattern drafting this morning. That's something I haven't done in like a million years. And I redrafted both patterns and I had enough bed sheet, thrifted bed sheet left over to do the work dress pattern, which I did first. I had a little bit of lace. This is like all I have left of this little piece of lace that I had to use as a trim. And yeah, I mean, it's really So I could have put pockets here, but I chose not to. I just wanted to make sure the pattern was gonna fit and not be too loose, but also be able to get on and over my head easily. I did cut it on the bias because that gives the woven fabric a little bit of a stretch, um, which I think was a good call. Um, and the length on it is, for me, is perfect. And uh, yeah, I can see this being a really cute, like around the house dress or just run to the market kind of thing. So, yay. Let's log. We went thrifting yesterday, Saturday, and I found a bunch of um, scarves and some old fabric and things to repurpose and upcycle. And I already said this morning I was um, making some um, changes to some of the patterns I have, including the metamorphic dress and the work dress. And in some part, combining properties of the two um, and taking out the waist gathers and everything. Anyway, one of the fabrics I got with it was this blue and green and yellow tie-dye print scarf. It was really big. And I thought right away, I wanna to try to make a metamorphic dress out of it, but with the pattern additions I've made um, or edits I've made and do something a little bit different with the hem because to make the fabric work. You guys, I'm gonna wear this tomorrow because it's just, it turned out great and it's so comfortable and oh my God. Okay, hold on. You have to wear bike shorts under it or wear a skirt under it, layer it on top of leggings or something, but that's okay. This is the front. How cute is that? I put a pocket like on the work dress. I was gonna put um, one of the um, etched patches of leather on it, but I just don't want to. I just like the pocket. I like the pocket. And then, hold on, let's push it down. See if I can get this. So the fabric only cut the dress to about here and it was gonna be too short to wear as a dress. I could have worn it as a top, but I had fabric left over. So I took a long straight piece of it and put it at the bottom. Hold on. Hopefully we can do this without me killing myself. Okay. Ugh, lead with a good knee, Gina. Okay, I just put it at the bottom, bottom straight. I, I didn't try to round it off or make it even. I let the corners hang and I put some slits in it. These are bike shorts, don't get excited. So, I mean, you guys, I love it. So I'll be making more of these. So cool. All right, that's it for the minute. I have other things I should be doing today besides sewing. I'll be back. Hey, you guys. I got obviously a bunch of sewing done. I did a couple of chores. Mostly Mr. Bob did the chores today. We're going to go try to get some steps in between rain and hail storms. Yes, I said the H word again. Oh, hail. Yeah. Anyway, the clouds look a little bit ominous in places, but we're gonna see if we can get some steps in 
really quick. We'll see. I've got this again just in case. I'll be yes, back. It is 2.05 p.m. Sorry, 2.07 p.m. Monday, April 3rd. Um, I spent the morning sewing again. I got a vest made out of some linen I was gifted from the daughter. And it was white. I dyed it this blue color and then made a vest out of it from a pattern I got off of Etsy. I'll link it down below. Um, I'll put some pictures here. I also made a kimono out of um, a scarf I found at the thrift store. And that was from a store-bought pattern, which I will also um, put the info on that down below. If you hear pounding, the neighbor behind us is getting some roofing done. I'm guessing they had a leak. Anyway... I haven't been sewing all morning. I haven't done any video editing or anything yet. I will get that done, but I'm taking a popcorn break <laughs> and uh, going to watch some YouTube and then, then I'll get to the desktop and yeah, get that done. All right, I'll be back. I got two projects finished. I'm looking for my sweater. Um, I got three more cut out that I want to work on tomorrow. I really am not only loving the sewing and making myself some clothing, I'm trying to work through some projects that have been in the back of my mind for a long time. Anyway, um, yeah, but it is to the point where I have to figure out how to store my sewing patterns because, yeah. Anyway, I need to go check the mail. I need to put a sweater on to do that. I'm going to go try and do it now before any rain or hail or something comes again because there's some dark clouds out there. And it's been doing it on and off all day, so I'll be back. Morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, April 4th. It's 8.38 a.m. I'm having trouble getting going this morning. So <clears throat> years ago, my when I was pregnant with my daughter, who's going to be 29 in September, I was in a head-on collision with somebody who ran a red light. Thankfully, I was driving Bob's car at the time, and it had an airbag. Um... Rebecca probably wouldn't be here today, but anyway, the accident caused me to have problems with my back and neck um, from the force of me hitting the airbag and the force of the accident. And even though it's been almost 30 years, I still occasionally have problems with my neck. And I woke up this morning and it was bothering me, so it's taking me a while to get going. It is starting to let up. <sighs> I'm probably going to have to break out some physical therapy exercises for it um, when I go downstairs to take a shower. But yeah, I'm just sitting here watching some YouTube and nursing my coffee because, yeah, my neck hurts. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, despite the fact that I woke up not feeling exactly right today, I just got... I had to rehem a, a blouse that I've had in my closet for a while that, for whatever reason, had elastic around the bottom. Yeah, took the elastic off and rehemmed the shirt. Much better. Um, I also took some of the gauze I bought the other day, the two solid colors, and I just made a pair of wide leg pants, one out of each color. When I have it on, it looks like a skirt, but it's actually pants. And cool. I'm going to take the striped one and make a top slash dress thing like I had on yesterday out of it. And I have a blouse I thrifted, and I think I'll go with the purple one. So it's all good. All right. It's time for lunch. I'll be back. And just for reference, I don't want to try them on because I don't want to get undressed, but um, I made one in this dusty blue color and it looks like a skirt, just like a gauze skirt. It's actually a pair of pants. And uh, yeah, see? <laughs> and then I made one in this sort of dusty purple color. Pretty cute. Just basic you know, bottoms, and if you have it styled right with the right cute top and they're loose and flowy and, I mean, you know, it's a pattern I sort of I dra sort of drafted myself based on the pants from the 1970 vintage pattern I made recently. Um, and I just, I altered it and made my own pattern out of it. So, yeah, anyway, it's each, each leg is one piece. There's only one piece to the pattern and you just cut two of them. So, and then because it looks the same on both sides, I put a label. Yeah, and yes, they're, this is my size. They're very loose and flowy on me, but 
I'm okay with that. So, all right. <sighs> Let's make some lunch now. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I will try to get a picture of my outfit today and put it here. But it is the purple um, wide leg pants that I made and the um, peasant blouse with the little purple flowers on it. Um, anyway, I'm out running some errands and <clears throat> then I have a dental appointment at noon. It's just after nine o'clock. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get any sewing or painting or anything done today. I don't do well with dentists and doctors, although I do better now than I did before medication and counseling. Um, still not my favorite thing to do, but I have four teeth that still have the old fashioned silver fillings in them and my teeth keep cracking. So the plan is let's just take the rest of the silver fillings out. If the teeth crack, let's fix them. But let's just get that shit out of my mouth. So we're gonna be doing that today. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully insurance will pay for at least some of it. Anyway. <sighs> so my plan is to just go run some errands and things I need to do, things I want to do, and yeah. I think we're gonna start off with Joanne's if it's open, because I need some thread and things. And then Target, I've gotta pick up medication, so. I wanna to go to Goodwill, of course, because it's senior day, it's Wednesday, April 5th, and I can get my senior discount, but it doesn't open until 10, so. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I finally have all the feeling back in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, if you've had dental work recently, you know what I'm talking about. And those drops of Novocaine that spill, oh, they taste gross. Anyway, a little bit of numbness left, but I'm down to one amalgam filling. <laughs> I'm on this side, I have to wait two weeks. He didn't want to numb my entire mouth. Anyway, I have on my purple shirt. Uh, I should say white shirt with purple flowers. This was thrifted over the weekend, last weekend, and I paired it up. How far away do I have to get? Paired it up with the goss pants that I just made. And this wasn't planned, you guys. This was done by accident, but the color is almost an identical match. Cool. And I got some more fabric. I want to make two more pair of these skirt pants, trouser things, <laughs> uh, black and a bluey green color. And so, I got those cut out and I got a blouse cut out from a pattern, a new pattern that I just got. And so we'll try those tomorrow because I'm not up to doing any sewing today. I don't know why going to the dentist just takes everything out of me, but it does. All right, I'll be back. I have a challenge for you all. You need to help me out with something. You can leave a comment down below. I encourage you to please do that. Also like this video. I have this piece of silk. Can you see the color? There we go. I bought this more than 40 years ago. It has been sitting in my stash for so long. I fell in love with the color and the texture way back then before I even knew Mr. Bob. It's about two yards of fabric. How wide is it? Um, I know I bought as much as I could afford because it was expensive. Uh, It's about 42 inches wide, so it's not super wide. And it, again, it's about two yards long. I've never made anything in it out of it because number one, I'm kind of afraid to cut into it. But number two, I don't know what to make out of it. It is pure silk. So when you do this, it does get wrinkly. Um, but you know what? I think I'm okay with that, but I don't know what to make out of it. I, I have no idea. So what do you guys think? If you have a specific pattern, um, something you think I might like, leave a link um, if you can, or PM me the link or something. But yeah, let, what do you think? I'm taking, taking a poll. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my stuff downstairs and rest my mouth. 
we are gonna go activate our new telephones tonight after Mr. Bob's off of work. So I'm gonna get myself ready, get my wallet back out of the closet because I put everything away and all that stuff. I'll be back. Hey guys, notice anything a little different? It might be the picture quality because last night Mr. Bob and I got new iPhones. And so anyway, I filmed the vlog with my iPhone for those who have no idea. Uh, this camera is so much better than even my video camera, which is an antique to be honest at this point, kind of. Um, I might be filming videos with just my phone going forward, at least for a bit. A new video camera is really expensive. And on that note, if you wanna support the free content or uh, help me raise funds for a new camera, join my Patreon down below. I also have an Amazon wish list. but anyway, I made two new pair of wide leg pants today. I made this green pair and a black pair. I thought I'd just work on some quick sewing projects today. I'll tell you why in a minute. Then I have this pattern, it's a Butterick pattern. And I was gonna do view C, well, the red one. I thought that would, doesn't look too hard. It's not too, it's actually not too difficult of a pattern. It's actually pretty easy if you don't pick fussy fabric like I did <laughs> and it took me it's taken me a good two and a half hours three hours to do this simple because it's out of a scarf and oh my gosh and I had to use a fine needle which then kept breaking and it was just one thing after the other so anyway but I got it done and it is very cute I like it it, it turned out really well. It was a scarf I had in my closet that I've had like a million years. Why was I just picking simple projects today? And we are staying home and not really going anywhere because the daughter is in labor. She is at the hospital, she's in labor. Um, they had to induce early um, because of some medical issues, but she's fine, baby is fine and not that early, only like by a week. So she is, working with that and everything seems to be going well, but any of you women out there know, it is not a quick process for most of us having a baby. So yeah, anyway, we're watching the dog until that's all done and stuff. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna clean up my mess. I think I'm gonna make another one of those shirts, but this time out of, <laughs> an easier fabric. I have this cotton shirt. It's like a 2X. I think it's like a size 24. Um, and it's this really cute blue and green plaid. And I'm thinking that again, view C would look really cute out of that. So um, I think I'm gonna cut that out later. I also have another project I wanna do out of the forager vest, only this time I might wanna try adding sleeves to it. And I wanna make another kimono with one of the scarves my friend Laura Gagreen sent me, and I think she sent me this scrap of fabric too. And then I found this other scarf at um, the thrift shop that I think will go with the black one she sent me. So it's awesome here on the table. Of course, that's thin, fussy fabric, not unlike this one. So I may do it last. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. The camera on this phone is so much clearer than the old one. Oh my God, anyway. I had to go to the T-Mobile store for some more help because my old phone doesn't want to wipe it, wipe and erase itself. Um, so they gave me a couple different things to try. So I'm working on one of them. It's slow going, but hopefully it works. And Bob went to a lodge meeting and it's just me and the dog. Nothing wrong with that. I got drawing and stuff to do anyway. I'll be back. Guys, it is just about lunchtime on Friday, April something i don't know let's see april do we know april 7th um <laughs> i took some leftovers that i had um including 
some BB shot. I don't shoot guns, but I use it for making weighted things in the art room. So I took some leftover scraps of fabric and the BB shots I had left, and I made some pattern weights. Um, I'm really enjoying using weights and not pinning everything. That is tremendously tedious. And I have been using these, which are great. Obviously, I've used these for years in the art room. These are the ends of old um, hand weights um, that you unscrew. And um, anyway, at times when I'm cutting patterns, there's not enough of them. There's only eight of those. So I made a handful of other little weights. I'm getting ready to upcycle this shirt. I've got happy mail to open and we're waiting on the announcement that grandson's been born because yeah, that's happening this morning. Evidently we're at that stage. My poor daughter has been in labor since Wednesday night, I think. So yeah, let's hope for her sake and the grandson's that it's over soon. All right, that's it for the minute. And I'm still trying to erase my old iPhone. I am just, yeah. Worst case scenario, I go this weekend to the Apple store and have them do it because I'm just, yeah. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. So I got a shirt I bought at the thrift recently, cut out to upcycle into another one of the shirts from this. I'm going to do the red one again, this time in a cotton linen fabric, which should be I would say a tad easier to sew, but how about a whole bunch easier to sew? Anyway, before I go make lunch, let's open some happy mail, shall we? This is from friend and patron, Kathy Whitney. She also lives in Oregon. She lives in Southern Oregon. So, and look what she did with the paper, you guys. Yes, I'm gonna have to save the paper. Let's open it and see what's in it, shall we? Although I have a little bit of a clue, but let's see what's in here. I don't think it's pizza, but that's a cute box to use. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. She's been making um, different kind of vessels out of crochet yarn and fabric that she has. And she recently finished a whole bunch of them and said she was gonna send them off to a bunch of people and look, I got one. I am so happy. And there's stuff inside of it, but hang on. My pattern, my pattern weights, they fit in there perfectly. Thank you, Kathy. See, I needed a container for them and you just knew that. Love it. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, look at this, this is a crocheted, it looks like a crocheted belt or headband. That's cute. There is some fabric collage and bits in here. These would be great in my daily journal downstairs. Uh, I don't know. Did you, are these iron-ons, Kathy? What are these? So she did this one. It doesn't feel like just a sticker on fabric. And then there's this one. I don't have my reading glasses on, I would say. I don't have them on, but they're right here. Is that upside down? Yeah, that was upside down. Some stamps and then a fern leaf. There is an ATC card. Wake up and howl at the moon. That's cute, I love that. There are some charms with paper beads. One has a moon on it, one has strength on it. Those are really cute. And then a card. Kathy, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. And by the way, you guys, she also made the card. Thank you, Kathy, so much. And uh, I already put the bowl to use because, yeah. All right. Thank you. That's it for now. I better go eat some lunch. I'll be back. Okay, guys, he is forever on here known as Junior. 
and I won't show, be showing his face for privacy and that sort of thing. But grandson is here and he and mom are both doing well, happy, healthy, all of that stuff, just very tired. So yay! <laughs> so we're grandparents now. Oh no, it's kind of weird, but, but good. All right. Back to sewing until, you know, I can get to go see him and hold him and all that stuff. I'll be back. Because the kids are in the hospital having a baby, <laughs> they had the baby, uh, we have Lily. So we're going to take her for a walk before we go run some errands. Obviously not family dinner night tonight, even though it's Friday because they are in the hospital. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go take Lily for a walk, tire her out a little bit and then go get some grocery shopping done. I'm not sure if we're gonna feed her before or after we get back, I don't know. But anyway, a good Friday grandson. Who knew? All right, I'll be hey, back. everybody. Yes, I have a little makeup on. Oh my God. I know, oh my God. Um, we are gonna, did I get that to smudge? I don't know, anyway. We're gonna, um, uh, we're obviously taking crazy pants for a walk before we do anything. And then we're gonna go run a few errands and hopefully go see little Junior. I almost used his real name, but I'm not supposed to do that on YouTube. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's all good. Outfit of the day. I love this jacket, I thrifted it. I don't know who it's from. I don't know the designer. If any of you know, let me know, but I, I absolutely love it. Anyway, all right. Let's go get some steps in and start our day off, hopefully on a good footing, and we'll be All back. Right. Hey guys, it is Saturday evening. It is very late. It's almost, min oh, it's almost 11.30. It's getting close to midnight. Anyway, we had a pretty good day. Tiring, but good. We were so glad to finally see Junior, AKA the grandson. That's his YouTube name, FYI. And uh, he's the cutest little thing. We might be just slightly prejudiced, but I mean, He's adorable. Baby and mother are doing just fine. And uh, yeah, it's all good. So <sighs> yeah, all right. That's it for this week. It's been an interesting week, but you know, that's what, it ha that's what happens around here. We have interesting times all the time. I don't know what to tell you. I'm still sewing like crazy. I don't know where that came from, but I've got more projects to work on. I do, I'm, I am going to get packed to painting soon, but right now my muse, all she wants to do is sew. So we're going to go with that. I, you know, all right, that's it for right now. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. By the way, uh, I am going by Oma, the German iteration of grandmother, and um, Bob is going by Pops. Just FYI. Anyway, anyway, leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube, I do have a Patreon. I mean, you know, go over and join. You have ready access to me on a fa private Facebook Messenger chat. Um, they have their own private YouTube channel, like all that stuff, and they get downloads from me all the time, and yeah, all that stuff. Check it out. All right, that's it for right now. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.